if I ask you to identify which box is colored red, but then you have that, which is you, you have the right. Um, on this slide, you can see two strings. Um, if I ask you which of the strings is colored red, or which of the strings says pink, but you can identify it, but you can identify it, which is the last one. But what if I ask you to do the same thing at home, at the same time, under time pressure? So, this is the game concept that we use when we joined Global Game Jam 2010. So, this is then gathers everyone, whether game enthusiasts or game developers, graphic designers, or consider when you gusto lang talaga ng experience with developing games to form small teams and to work on a small game project within 48 hours. So this event, given lahat, given lahat kayo ng isang common game team and a set of constraints. So for Global Game Jam 2010, yung game team is the section and dapat yung games na itatagalap nyo should contain bugs, slugs, and plugs. So, in team namin, nagkataon na lang kami, ika, yun nga, ika yung the Diliman Computer Science students kami, and we're working on the same laboratory, which is yung Web Science Group. Nagkataon din na lahat kami nagdi-develop ng games as educational tools. Also, nagkataon din na lahat ng games na yun don't use the traditional keyboard and mouse as primary game controllers. Instead, we use other tools such as the Wii Remote or the Webcam as inputs. So why? Because there are many things that we can do using keyboard and mouse. For example, who is familiar with Wii? Wii. Now we're going to play now. Yeah, Wii Sports. Are you familiar? Let me play with Wii Sports. So this is Wii Sports. Let's say tennis. So, yung Wii Remote, pwede mo siyang gamitin as if para ka na i-swing na rameta. So, eh, kung familiar kayo doon, yun yun. So, hindi mo siya pwede gawin using yung keyboard kasi pag ginalang yung keyboard, si Ryan. <laughs> so, we use yung Wii Remote and yung webcam. So, isip namin, 48 hours. So, kailangan mo gawin ng game in 48 hours. And since, enough naman yung manpower namin, so we decided to build two games. So one is using the webcam as primary input, and the other, which is the color blunder, uses the wheel. So the main objective of the color blunder is to kill as many bugs as you can, given given the constraints. So for example, so in this screen you are given a constraint which is the color. So in this screen you need to kill the bug with the color of the given text, which is red, kahit ito yung minion text. Na? <laughs> Ayan, so, kung text yung nakasunod sa baba, so kailangan mo hanapin yung bug na may color of the, of the text, which is in blue. Ito ba nga? So, you want, yung, yung, yung player has only three chances para magkamali, which is mangyayari lang yun kapag mali yung bugs na sinubukan mo i-kill or naubusan ka ng time. So, 10 seconds yung time para pumili dun sa bug kung kasi yung papatay mo. So, yung controls niya, since gumagamit siya ng wear mode, so, yung pag-select ng bug is swing down mo yung wear mode. Wala kang wear mode, sorry. So, swing down mo yung wear mode as if you are para ka bumapatay ng ibis. Parang gano'n. Tapos, to select a bug, you need to tilt the wear mode left or right. So as I said, Color Blunder uses Wii Remote as its primary game controller, but it does not run on the Wii console. Instead, the Wii Remote connects directly to the PC. So Color Blunder is developed under Jam using Java, and we use Java 2D for graphics rendering. We also use the library Wii Remote J to capture the Wii Remote actions. So, see what here is a Bluetooth. Bluetooth technology, kung yung sa cellphone ng file sa cellphone. So, siya rin yung same technology na ginagamit ng Wii Remote J para maintindihan niya yung actions ng Wii Remote. So, ganun din yung ginagamit ng Wii Console para maka-detect niya kung yung events doon sa Wii Remote. So, same lang ginagawa namin sa PC except that kailangan namin ng external na Bluetooth device. Yan. So, explain ka na kung yung sa Wii Remote J in case na may interested sa inyo mag-develop ng games in PC using yung Wii Remote Lab. 
So, event driven siya, meaning, pag nag-click ako, pag nag-push ako ng button sa isang remote, let's say, I press the remote button at the back, eto, yung, yes, yung nasa ilan. Magkakaroon siya ng, mag-figure siya ng event, which is pwede mo i-customize. So, ginagamit namin, ginagamit namin yung madalas kapag gusto namin, let's say, i-map yung, kunyari, pag pinas ko yung b-button, gusto ko nag-right-click ako sa mouse, parang gano'n. Or pag pinas ko yung A, mag-left-click ako sa mouse. Also, meron din yung tawag na accelerometer events. So, yung Wii Remote, may accelerometer siya, which parang detects kung ano yung X, Y, and Z acceleration ng Wii Remote, nung current state ng Wii Remote mo. So, example, pag nag-swing up ako, mag-return siya sa akin ng positive Z acceleration. So, yun yung ginagamit namin para ma-detect na nag-swing down yung user. Tapos, yung accelerometer events din contains yung current orientation ng Wii Remote, which is kung tilted left siya or tilted right. So, siya yung ginagamit namin to move yung mouse cursor, let's say. So, when I tilt the Wii Remote left, the mouse cursor moves left. <coughs> yeah. So, yun nga. So, some tips lang. Doon sa coding kasi, since I told na dalawa yung teams na ginagamit, na ginagamit namin within 14 hours, So, kung i-compute ko siya from scratch, parehas. Hindi ko siya matatapos talaga ng 48 hours. But then, kailangan mo lang So, dun sa mga nag... May mga nag-develop na ba dito ng applications? Or something? Nag-code? Yeah. Anyway. So, kung sakasakali mo ko-code kayo and mag develop kayo ng applications. So, yung hindi... I-take into consideration nyo na yung mga pwede parts ng code nyo na ma-reduce. Ma so, ibig sabihin, parang, kanyari, dun sa, dun sa dalawang games namin, parang may common modules lang sila na, okay, parehas nung may logic hardware na parehas nung nag-check ng game over, let's say, or parehas nung nag-check ng correct yung inputs. So, yung mga ganong klaseng parehas lang sa dalawang applications, i-take into consideration na natin para makasave tayo ng voting time and effort. Also, since marami kami sa group, So, hindi kayo, hindi maganda na hindi maintindihan yung ginagawa mo yung teammate mo. For example, si, hindi laging ako yun ang kukod at hindi yung 48 hours. So, minsan nakatulog din ako and yung ibang teammates ko yun ang kukod. So, importante na kailangan maintindihan nila yung ginagawa ko. And kapag nagkukod sila, kailangan importante din na maintindihan ko yung ginagawa nila. Ayan. So, Yun so kapag may take into consideration mo siya parehas, so malilesen yung time mo ng coding, so magiging posible nga na okay yung two games, posible siya within 14 hours, parang gano'n. So yun nga, simple lang siya, and medyo may mga bugs din na na-test namin. So pero yun nga, since 14 hours lang yung given, so medyo expected yun, but then at least, yun nga, kahit yung ibang 